Prison Break Author, Agam Mora Cross-Dress Small World, Part 6, The Truth I woke up in a white bed. My stomach is still writhing in pain from Daniel's knife wound. My eyes are still dreamy and can't fully open. Where am I? Why am I already dead? After getting more awake, I quickly sat up. The wound in my stomach is currently covered with a bandage. I heard a familiar voice in my ear, awake? I'll locate the voice and look over it. Unexpectedly, the person who spoke up was Leon, one of my fellow prisoners I haven't seen him since I escaped from prison. All I know is that so far, he, like me, has not been caught by the police. I asked, why am I here? What is this place? Leon replied, I brought you here after you passed out on the corner of the street near the headquarters of Peace Food Company. This place is an apartment I rented temporarily, absolutely safe, you don't have to worry, just rest assured to rest. I said, thank you so much. I owe you this life. If I'm still okay after this incident, I'll definitely find a way to repay you for saving my life. Leon looked at me with innocent eyes, don't worry about that. Actually, I have to apologize to you. You are just a victim in this confrontation. Leon has always been such a calm, cold person. He always put on an expressionless face. Surprised, I asked, victim? What do you mean? Wait a minute. Why do you happen to be here? Where have you been all these years and what have you done to avoid the eyes of the police? Leon replied, to begin this story, allow me to reintroduce myself in the most authentic way. My name is Leon, a police agent on the special team. I am currently serving a disciplinary sentence because in the past, I voluntarily broke into the lair of a drug trafficking group to kill the leader. In that incident, because of my stupidity, three of my colleagues died in the line of duty. At that time, I was still a crazy cult. I'm proud of my skills and can't wait to show it off to my superiors. Having said that, Leon's eyes flashed with sadness. This is the first time I have witnessed Leon showing emotion on his stiff face. Leon continued, I accept the demotion punishment from my superiors. But deep inside, I always have a feeling of regret. Although not directly, but I contributed to the death of three innocent people. I asked my superiors to allow me to go to jail to pay the penalty for my guilt. At first, they disagreed because they still value my skills. They don't want to lose a good cop. But after seeing the pain in my words, they sighed in agreement. I still silently listened to Leon without missing a word. I was quite surprised about Leon's true identity. But I still don't understand why he called me the victim. Leon continued his story. Every day in prison goes on like that, but the guilt inside of me has not yet subsided. Although I am in prison, I am still a police officer, so I still receive full information about major cases outside. Until one day, I received bad news, the leader of the old drug trafficking group was still not dead. The person I killed at that time was just a guy disguised as a substitute for him. Our information was leaked because there was a traitor in the police station at that time. I got mad and fell into a serious psychological crisis. I lived like a lifeless corpse for months until a new criminal was brought into my cell. I have not seen such a steadfast prisoner in a long time. Although his body was very thin, he was constantly being used as the object of beatings by former prisoners, but he still refused to give in. I was curious, so I approached him. Through many conversations, I knew he was a master thief in disguise, caught by his teammates betrayal. I was even more interested because he had two points related to my story. First, he is a master of disguise. I was also cheated by a guy in disguise. Second, he was betrayed just like me, so I felt sympathy for him. He treated me very sincerely, 
partly helping me dispel the feeling of lack of vitality. So, although I never agree with a criminal, he sometimes makes me forget he is also a criminal. Being in contact with him for a long time made my mind sharper. Thanks to that, I was able to pay attention to the strange details. I just had time to react, I asked Leon again, is that me you mentioned? What is the strange detail you mentioned? Leon replied to me, isn't that clear? Even though you don't know it, you actually play a pretty important role to me. It was you who helped me through a difficult time. You are also the one who untangles the knot I still don't know. At first, I began to wonder why you were sentenced to decades for theft. Although the amount of property you stole was not small, it was not enough to receive such a severe punishment. Through your story, I know that you were reported to the police by a guy named Daniel. I began to interrogate which policeman was responsible for the incident. The results surprised me, the policeman was a guy on my team in the past. I widened my eyes in surprise, you mean the policeman who sentenced me was the one who betrayed you in the past? Leon nodded, you're so smart. He's exactly the cop who leaked the information to the old drug gang. I continued to ask, but why did he help Daniel to harm me? What did I do to him? Leon replied, it's simple, Daniel has something to do with those drug trafficking group. Don't you wonder why he developed so quickly? You and him both have the same starting point and stealing process, so why does he have more money than you so clearly? I don't know and don't want to know since when Daniel got used to the drug gang. Just know that when he hurt you, he was an important pawn in the gang. I suspect, he is still gradually enticing you to join, but unexpectedly, you want to get rid of the crime too soon. So he had to find a way to handle you to protect the secret. When I learned the truth, I silently informed my superiors that I wanted to continue investigating the events of the past. Only by fully resolving this case will I feel less guilt. They also happily agreed to let me take the blame. And when I heard that you wanted to organize a prison break for revenge, I pretended to cooperate to expedite the next investigation. That's why. I feel guilty for taking advantage of you. I froze after knowing the truth. I said, didn't expect such an anecdote behind my back. Turns out I was just a minor character in a big conspiracy all this time. Having said that, I laughed at myself. Leon shook his head and said, no. You are indeed a victim in the confrontation between the police and the criminal group but you are certainly not a minor character. You have a more important role than you think. Without waiting for my response, Leon continued, after I got out of prison, the first thing I did was to quickly deal with the traitor policeman. With all the evidence I've gathered for so long, he didn't have time to react. Now he has taken my place in the prison. Although catching the traitor makes me a little more comfortable, but I know. This policeman is actually just a pawn in the hands of drug trafficking group, the true enemy is still there. The police still kept the absolute secret of the traitor's arrest. To be more authentic, I arranged for them to pretend to do the chase. Thereby, silently watching your next move. That's why you haven't been caught after all these years. I now understand why I have not been arrested until now. It turned out that my thinking was still too shallow, maybe that's why I let Daniel play to such a tragic situation. Leon smiled and said to me, but I don't think you are so bold as to disguise yourself as a girl, moreover, a pretty girl. If I hadn't known everything in the first place, I would have even doubted you were really a girl. I'm so sorry for not being able to fully protect you. Peace Food Company is a criminal nest. I cannot break in to follow you. By the time you jumped out, you were already injured. I asked, are you the one who bandages my wound? Leon replied, yes. Your body and lingerie set are great. I blushed and threw the pillow at him, you. You pervert. 
at that time, I didn't understand why I was so embarrassed when he saw through my body. He and I are both men. To be continued. Today's story would like to stop here. Thank you for watching. Please like and share for people with similar interests to motivate me to develop my channel. Goodbye and see you in another story.